So how do you find real silver at the thrift store? Unless you know what you're looking for, it's real difficult. I'm going to show you how to find real silver, and it's a little trickier than you might think. Now, everybody talks about the magnet trick on how to find silver, but it's got its issues too. Look at this spoon. The top is non-magnetic to where the back of it is magnetic. We know this spoon is not silver because it says stainless on the back. At least this fork looks silver, but when you turn it over, it says triple. Pretty tricky. They're always coming up with new ways to say it's not silver. Now we have two butter knives. One is silver and one is not. Which one is real? This one says IS, which means international silver. And this one has some markings on it that don't have any words on it. So here is the magnet trick. I'm going to show you that it does work on silver, but it also works on things that aren't silver. Well, if you haven't guessed it yet, you can see which one is silver because it is moving with the magnet. But I would not rely on this test alone to verify if it's silver or not. Let me show you where the magnet test fails. See this silver quarter? We're able to move it. Now, here's a copper one, and you can see it move as well. So I would not use this test alone, because you can see copper has the same effect as real silver. Now, if a quarter is 1964 and below, it's real silver. Now, if you turn the quarter on the side, you can clearly see this one's silver, the other one has copper clad. And of course, everyone talks about the ring test. Listen to this. This is 100% pure silver. Now, these coins are 90% silver, and listen to what happens to the tone. The amount of silver makes the tone change. Listen to this. Now these coins are not silver and you can hear a difference, but you have to be on your game to hear this. Another test people use is a drop test. You just listen to see if it sounds like silver. Well, these are pretty tough to distinguish. If you're really good, you can do it. But when the shapes change, so does the tone. So what is the most effective way to find silver? Unfortunately, it's you gotta know your markings for silver. On this sterling silver knife, you'll notice four maker marks. The first marking is Cooper Brothers and Sons. The most important mark on this is the picture of the lion with its foot in the air. Now that is the symbol of sterling silver. The other two marks, one would be the location it was made, and the letter represents the year it was made. The letter Z on this one means 1943. So if you see a lion with its foot up, the word sterling or stir, or if you see the numbers 92.5 or 92.5, chances are you have sterling silver in your hand. So don't rely on these tests to determine if it's silver or not, you'll need to have knowledge of the years and the marks that represent silver. Now, when I'm at the thrift store, I'm also looking for other noble metals. Pewter will go for $20 a pound. So if I can buy a pound of pewter for $2.50 while I'm out treasure hunting, sure, I'll do that. Well, I hope you have found this video useful, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. 
Thank you.